Two years ago today, a little girl's body was found in the back of a pickup truck along I-95 in West Palm Beach. Nubia Barraona's death would reveal one of the worst child abuse cases in recent Florida history. News Channel 5's Katie Legrone runs down what has changed since the day Nubia was found. Katie. Kelly, since that day, massive changes have already been implemented at the Department of Children and Families office with one goal in mind, stop child abuse. It was a Valentine's Day discovery you could only describe as heartbreaking. It's definitely disturbing. Two years after 10-year-old Nubia Barahona was found stuffed in the back of her adopted father's pickup truck, the Miami street she once called home is now known as Nubia Way. While the state agency criticized for failing her is changing its way of responding to calls of abuse. The multi-million dollar DCF overhaul inspired by this tragic scene along I-95 in West Palm Beach. It was here where Nubia's body was discovered along with her twin brother, who was soaked in chemicals, but alive. It's a very toxic environment. The children's adopted parents, Carmen and Jorge Barahona, would be accused of torturing the children daily. Both now face the death penalty if convicted. The case forced the state's Department of Children and Families to revamp its abuse hotline. Now equipped with technology that quickly researches the family's history and can be sent to investigators before they even arrive at a home. And by the end of this month, all DCF investigators will be trained on how to better deal with families. It's a series of historic changes for this agency, but changes inspired by this roadside scene that would become the portrait of the state's failures and the children who suffered for it. And what has not changed two years later, Carmen and Jorge Barahona still remain in a Miami jail. Their trial dates have not been set. Katie Legrone, WPTV News Channel 5.